Let's move on to Thomas Elkins. Thomas has an incredible story. He was born in New York in 1818, where he went on to study surgery and dentistry. And some say he was one of the founders of Albany Medical College. In the 1840s, Thomas became a member of the Albany Vigilance Committee, which was a major part of the Underground Railroad. Wow. These committees provided things like food, legal aid, and medical attention to slaves seeking freedom. During the Civil War, Thomas served as a medical examiner, and in the 1870s, he began his career as an inventor. He obtained patents like things like multifunctional tables and equipment meant to improve refrigeration. In 1872, he also patented uh, the design for what he called a chamber commode, but what we refer to today as the modern toilet. Wow. His original concept combined multiple pieces of furniture into one item, including a mirror, a bookshelf, a washstand, and an easy chair. Today, we've simplified his design into something that no home or public place can go without. And for that, we say thank, thank you. So great. Last but certainly not least, let's honor Dr. Charles Drew. Charles was born in 1904 in Washington, D.C. He excelled in academics and became the first African American to receive a Doctor of Science in Medicine degree from Columbia University in 1940. He also became the first African American surgeon selected to serve as an examiner on the American Board of Surgery. Wow. During World War II, Charles was recruited to help develop and oversee a program for blood storage and preservation. Later, he created what we now call blood mobiles. Trucks containing refrigerated stored blood, allowing greater mobility of the transportation and donation of blood. These trucks gave way to one central location where donors could not only go to give blood, but where skilled personnel also tested the blood and made sure that it was free of contamination. His work led to the American Red Cross Blood Bank. And as a result, millions of people owe him their lives. So, that's right, Dr. Charles Drew, for your incredible contribution, we say all together one big heartfelt thank, thank you. you. I love this. I feel like we learned so much yeah. today. We didn't know this already. This is just a small sampling of what black inventors have contributed to society. Some of their inventions we use every day. Some we only need in dire circumstances. But one thing is for sure, our lives wouldn't be the same without them.